And then you transition to the Mariners hitters and position players, starting with Matt Gonzalez, who played for the Bourne Braves last year. He had a 4-for-5 game with a home run in the first inning at Doran Park against his former team. And Danny Zardone, one of the guys that you love to go watch batting practice, always hit a number of home runs out and a very solid glove over at third base. Kenny Towns, also a third base player from UVA. He returned from the College World Series, and he was a guy late in the season and early on in the playoffs who was hitting double after double down the line, clutch hitting from Towns. C.J. Hinojosa always showing off his great arm at short, is uh, at a great glove over there, and then hit a few home runs to go with it. Angelo Mendeleri, the unsung hero for Harwich, a temporary player who played shortstop and second base, won himself a starting job, and then moved around the infield, but he also raised his batting average from about 220 to nearly 290 at the end of the year. And then Kevin Biggio, another second baseman that alternated with a- Angelo Mendeleri. Uh, he had a you know, solid season, going to be coming back next summer. And, and you talk about one of his great moments, getting to hit a home run in front of his family. Sal Anunziata, who came in one day before the season started, became the everyday first baseman. His fielding really stood out to me, not just the fact that he won the home run derby, but the fact that he had one of the best fielding percentages at first base on the Cape. And then Ian Happ, Mr. Everything. I mean, he could play anywhere. He played first base, every outfield position, could have played second base or short if needed, but he was, you know, Mr. Versatile and then always led the team in, you know, pretty much every category in hitting. Craig Aiken from Oklahoma, he was the only sooner not to be an all-star on the Harwich Mariners, but that's because he suffered an injury earlier on in the season. And in my opinion, he would have definitely continued his hot pace and been an all-star had he not sprained his ankle against Hyannis. Aiken, another guy who can play anywhere in the outfield. And then Kyle Barrett, one of the all-star outfielders, played the entire game out in center field for the East All-Stars. Uh, he had a great season, had a streak of uh, 23 straight games, reaching base safely, and he uh, batting average above 300. Uh, one of those guys that always seemed to set the table for the rest of the Mariners at the top of the lineup. Sky Bolt, what an arm in center field. He threw out Andrew Stevenson in the first inning on a laser to Anthony Hermelin to keep that game scoreless. Eventually, Harwich would clinch the division in that game, but Bolt, the most defensively sound outfielder I've seen on the Cape this season. And then Brennan Sanger, uh, he's a guy that you know, was an infielder out of high school, played infielder his freshman season at FAU, and then moved to outfield and had a very nice transition, just the one error on the season. Uh, but other than that, he was spectacular defensively and offensively a doubles machine, finished with eight, which were fourth most on the Cape. Joe McCarthy from UVA, another guy who plays anywhere in the outfield, and he has some unreal speed. He runs a 6-4-60. This guy has such a good plate approach, and his on-base percentage was up in the atmosphere. And then Matt Wynn, and you talk about defensive catchers, and he was one of, if not the best, on the Cape that we had seen. Uh, by far and away, the most catcher assists uh, of any player on the Cape, with 29 in the regular season. We saw him you know, pick off a couple runners at first base, uh, and then runners caught stealing. He uh, was one of the best in the league at that. He was just outstanding behind the dish for the Mariners. Made a nice team with Anthony Harmelin, the third Oklahoma Sooner on the team, who also was good defensively, but he really shined with the bat. Had the first home run of the season for Harwich in an early game against Falmouth, and really kept it going after that, consistently hitting over 300.